Hello, Governor Romney. My name is James Lipton, and if you've ever seen my show on Bravo, Inside the Actor's Studio, you know that we deal with the craft of acting. Since politics and performance have become pretty much fused, and since you've been criticized by some for not coming across as authentic to your public, maybe we can sort of work on that today. Let's start with your laugh. You know, I live for laughter. I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it isn't working. It's inert. Uh, it, it just doesn't come across as genuine. Worst of all, it's mirthless, which is to say that while you expect us to be amused, you're not the least bit amused yourself. I've advised people who are watching you to uh, freeze the frame and then put their hands over the lower part of your face and look at your eyes. There's no pleasure there. We like to depend on a great actor and director named Konstantin Stanislavski. One of his central principles for actors was relaxation. This is an unusual interview. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. You, I'm, uh, speaking. Newspaper, I'm speaking. The newspaper, I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I remember once in rehearsal, a director saying to an actor who was trying much, much too hard on the stage, relax. You've got the job. Well, now that it appears that you're going to get the Republican nomination, I would propose to you that you relax. Not so easily done, but it's something you have to work on, I think. Only then can you begin to get in touch with yourself, and only when you get in touch with yourself will your audience begin to be in touch with you. That seems to be the problem. What you appear to be having the most trouble with is this, this portrait of yourself as a common man. Sir, I, I don't think you are a common man. Who let the dogs out? Who, who? Ronald Reagan was also not a common man. What he was was an authentic card-carrying, that is to say, SAG card-carrying uh, actor. He was comfortable in his own skin, and he was comfortable doing what he did. My advice to you, sir, and you can reject it, of course, it's just advice, is that you don't try to go with what you haven't got. Stick with the typecasting. Go with what you've got and who you are. It's, it's not your best option. I think it's your only option. I have no reason to believe that you watch my television program, and I suspect now that you never will. Uh, nevertheless, you may know that at the end of each episode, I ask a questionnaire that was asked for 26 years by a hero of mine named Bernard Pivot in France. The questions are a kind of Rorschach test, and since we're talking about authenticity, maybe it might be useful for you to answer them and, and really reveal yourself, the real, the real Mitt Romney. Sir, what is your favorite word? Delighted. I'm delighted. I'm absolutely delighted. What is your least favorite word? Romney care. What turns you on? I like being able to fire people who provide services to me. What turns you off? The plight of the poor. What sound or noise do you love? We need men! We need men! We need men! What sound or noise do you hate? Obama! 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 What is your favorite curse word? Thank heavens. What profession other than your own would you like to attempt? A 1970s game show host. What profession would you not like to attempt under any circumstance? Um, press secretary. Finally, sir, if heaven exists, and I'm sure that you're confident it does, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? What's up, gangsters? It's the M.I. Double Tizzle. I know that you haven't uh, asked for this advice, and I'm probably being impertinent in offering it, but for whatever it's worth, I hope you might find a nugget or two in here. And if not, I hope you'll forgive me. Godspeed.